Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how to launch Oxygen Light with the viewer. It's growing increasingly incompatible, so some modifications are required. So first thing I need to download Oxygen Light and the viewer. And unpack it. I go to the viewer folder and open Flashpoint CFG in Notepad. I need to replace Glide with Direct 3D. And I also need to add Adapter 0. Next. Bulldozer requires 196 CD key, so I need to copy it from the 199. So I open Registry Editor. And I go to the local machine, software, on 64-bit systems I need to go through Windows 32-bit on Windows 64-bit. And then Bohemia Interactive Studio, Cold War Assault. And then I export this entire folder. Next, I open the key in Notepad. And then I replace Bohemia Interactive Studio with Cold Masters and Cold War Assault with Operation Flashpoint. And then just double click to import this key. The last step is to add textures and models from the game. So I go to my game folder. DTA and I copy data and data 3D PBO to the viewer. Then I'm going to rename the folders to make a backup just in case. And then I unpack the data and data 3D PBO. This is going to take a while. So the viewer is now ready. Now I can start Oxygen Light. I need to point here to the bulldozer exit. And I need to start it with parameters no land dx window. And then I restart the oxygen. And it's working. Now let's load some models. I download the official models. So you can see here there's an error because the viewer wants to fill the seats with humans but the model is missing because B forgot so you will have to fill it in yourself so what I'm going to do is go to the viewer folder data 3D and find Cessna Cargo and copy it and rename it to Cargo P3D so let's see now no error, and all seats are filled. Alright. So let's edit some model. So I've got here STGN's beautiful M1 Abrams tank. Beauty is in the detail, of course. And first I'm going to deal with this error message. Mm. 
One more. And there we go. Uh, it's good enough. All right, so let's edit it. There we go, a much needed improvement. Now all the shells will pass through. Alright, so let's see how it looks in game. I save the model and I can exit the oxygen. Now oxygen has a tendency to hang, so I go to the process manager and close the hanging process. Now I'm going to show you how to binarize a model. First I need to download the program for binarizing. And then I unpack it in the viewer folder. Next I open the command line and type in bin and name of the addon. Addon config and model textures are required for binarizing a model. The result is stored in the opt folder. But the subfolders are missing, so I will have to copy it separately. So I go to the game directory, add-ons, and I first copy the source. And then I copy the binarized models. Last thing I need to do is create a PBO archive. And now I can launch the game. This is pretty high up. One o'clock, enemy T seventy two, one hundred. And the enemy tank can't hit me. Soldier, 
So that was it. Thanks for watching.